Why can birds sit on power lines safely, but humans cannot? Ah, the eternal debate about whether birds are better than humans. They are. For centuries, man has looked up to the heavens, eyeing the birds with envy. Stunningly beautiful, yet so supple. These wellness influences of the sky steal our hearts and minds and hot chips. When man first desired to fly, he copied the bird. And when he wanted to feed his young, he copied the bird. But now humans can fly, feed our young and send tweets, just like any racist bird. But there's one last thing that these feathered gods have over us. A single opening for poo and genitalia. Oh, and also the fact that they can sit on power lines completely unharmed, staring down at us from their majestic throne of majesty. So why are these Avarian overlords able to perch safely without being electrocuted? Like Terry, who asked the question, I don't know. Unlike Terry, I have a man in high vis who does. So Riley, all of these power lines, they're insulated, aren't they? Some are, but there's many that aren't, and they are definitely not safe to touch. OK, then, have birds somehow evolved some sort of protective skin around their slender, yet firm, perky feet that grip onto the wire tenaciously, like I'm not watching? Riley wasn't qualified to answer that, but he did say the bird's imperviousness had more to do with how electricity behaves. Electricity always flows through a complete circuit, whether that's wire to wire or a wire to the earth. When a bird's sitting on just one wire, it's not touching another wire or the earth, so essentially it's not forming a circuit. There's no shortcut through the bird. That's why the birds don't receive an electric shock. So the current flows through the power line and it actually bypasses the bird. Without frying those delicate yet powerful legs. Ah, uh, sure. So if the bird is touching the ground at the same time as it's touching the wire, it essentially forms a circuit to the ground and that's where the bird would be electrocuted. The same risk involves from someone on the ground touching the wire, they too would be electrocuted. If a bird was to touch two wires at the same time, it would also be electrocuted. That's why we space power lines apart at the top of a power pole, for the bird's sake. So, theoretically, humans can sit on a power line if we're not touching the ground? Yes, but power lines are still extremely dangerous. We touch them because we're specially trained, we have special equipment. I get equipment. it. So what you're saying is, we can be the bird. No, Lawrence, you have to stay at least three metres away from the power line. For centuries, man has looked up to the birds on power lines with envy and lust. But finally, man has evolved an understanding of basic electrical theory and advanced cosplay. Man can touch the skies and finally touch a power line, as nature intended, in a non-conductive cherry picker crane. I'll clip you in. And fully insulated bird suit. Riley to the heavens! <laughs> I'm flying! <laughs> oh, I'm so hot. I think I just wet my cloaca. Uh, okay, just a little closer. No, you're not a trained professional. I have to keep you in the ordinary person safety zone. Uh, well, I'm not an ordinary person because I'm a bird. Mate, you're not a bird. You're a man in a bird suit. I can see your beard. I'm a bird? This was not the only power company I approached for this story. In fact, I approached virtually every power company in Australia, and amazingly, not one of them thought this was a good idea. So, if we're not allowed to use their power lines, we'll have to take it into our own hands and build our own power line. Lawrence! It's over here! Uh, uh, oh. Uh, we couldn't make it bigger? Well, if someone hadn't insisted on endangered condor feathers for someone's bird costume, then maybe someone could afford a larger power line. It's a real power line, though. It's, um... Buzzing with a lethal payload of 132,000 volts. 12 this volts. 12 volts! This is potentially fatal science. I guess. Maybe if I have a heart problem or something. So I'm insulated from the ground right now, so I could touch one wire and be fine, but if I were to touch both wires, then that light would turn on. Oh, my God. The stakes could not be higher. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm alive! I'm like a bird! You're a bird. I am a bird! I'm a bird! That's good. I'm a bird! I'm a How long do I have to stay here? <laughs> oh! 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 I'm dead! Oh, oh you're on the ground. 
Ah, call a vet, call a vet. Ah. Sound more like a crow than a parrot. The reason why us birds can touch a power line without being electrocuted is because we're not touching the other wires or any object that's uninsulated in contact with the earth. Excuse me. <laughs>